Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark. <laughs> Extreme 15 plus years undefeated backyard wrestling entertainment champion and the host of On Your Mark. And today we've got a very, very special guest that I am. I am. I'm a huge fan of his body of work. I'm one of the boys. He's one of the boys. And I've uh, been looking forward to this conversation for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Eric Young. Eric, thank you for being here. Yeah, congratulations on all your backyard success. That's uh, it's ex excellent. Thank you very much. You know, it, it means a lot to, you know, be recognized by um, uh, one of the boys. Um, so I really appreciate it. It doesn't happen enough, let me tell you that. Uh, surprising. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I got some uh, hard hitting questions uh, coming up here for you. Um, but uh, oh, I, 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 um, I, before we jump into the questions, did you did you hear about about all those wrestlers that that went to Slam Anniversary? Like you should you should have gone too. Like imagine this. Okay, how okay. cool would it have been if uh, Eric Young showed up at Impact Wrestling Slam Anniversary? That would be wild. It would probably you know draw the most views on a pay-per-view they've had in the last 15 years. Um, probably have the most social interactions that they've had in the last 10 years. Um, probably had drive up Twitch subscribers by uh, almost 50%. I mean, all of that would be interesting if I showed up on the show, I think. Yeah. Well, we agree on that point. Hell yeah. You know, um, but what do they know? You know, yeah. um, I do know that, that the motorboat machine guns came back. So that was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, happy to see those guys uh, doing well. Uh, the Angels Wonders. Uh, they, it looks like they're they're both still twelve. <laughs> yeah, dumbass little kids, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, there, you know, there, um, there's nothing worse than when, uh, you know, when when great wrestlers uh, don't get used right in the WWE. I mean, Eric Young. You get it. You were there, Eric Young. Why didn't WWE use EC3 right? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, the WWE's got more wins than they got losses. Uh, EC3 or, you know, Eric Young. The list goes on and on of mm -hmm. people that they've missed on. Um, I never envisioned being one of those people. I certainly didn't envision EC3 being one of those people. Um, but, you know, mistakes were made and, and uh, we move on. I mean, it, it's a... We, EC3 is not the first person that they missed on. I am not the first person they missed on. Um, and we won't be the last. It's, it's, it's just part of the process. That's the way it worked. And uh, we're trying to try to move forward, man. Mm. But wise words from a wise, wise old young man, right? Things have gotten out of control. You mentioned that, you know, if Impact Wrestling knew what they were doing and brought you back, spiked the numbers. Um, uh, but I have to ask you this. Why would you want to go um, back to Impact Wrestling? Because let me just let me just ask you this. So I don't know if you've noticed, but the WWE, Impact Wrestling, they haven't drawn any audience lately. And I think it's, you know, creative. The attendance is at an all-time low. So I don't... I. Backyard Wrestling Entertainment, we've had sell-out crowds for every month for the past five, six months. You know, 34 sold-out tickets. Marky yeah. Extreme Rules this past weekend. Why would you want to go to a company that the creative is so bad that they're drawing a zero attendance? Well, you know, I mean, uh, this is 20-plus uh, years for me in the industry, and I'm still work working towards that backyard contract. You know, it's... Uh, that's where you know the big bucks are. Obviously, I can tell by your belt and your the backdrop of your set design. There is yeah. uh, the the company spares no expense. Uh, you're the poster child for what a professional should look like. Um, both sleeves still on your t-shirt. That doesn't seem right, but uh, I mean it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the WWE they're having troubles uh, drawing people, as you can see. Um, I've even heard rumors that they're paying people to actually be in the crowd. They're actually employees. Look at there. Behind the plexi plexiglass. Uh, and in back, they can't even draw anyone. So, that, you know, there's nobody there. So uh, maybe mistakes were made in my part. It just seemed like fun. And, and I live in Nashville, and that's where they shoot. So I just thought that was the easiest route. You know, I, I think that, first of all, I want to say thank you. You know, um, it's about goddamn time that somebody recognizes greatness. Um, you know, um, and then also I just think that, you know, 
nice guys finish fast, you know, the, with the, you know, where we have lacked in the past, you know, of uh, thousands and thousands of people coming to shows, you know, you know, we're now on top. Backyard Wrestling Entertainment is drawing the most of any wrestling company in the country. And, you know, Eric Young, um, we can cross the T's, dot the I's, and talk numbers later, but, you know, we would love to have you in Backyard Wrestling Entertainment. You know, I mean, the, you know, could you just picture that on the, on the, on the marquee? Eric Young and Marky Extreme. <laughs> Sounds like a match made in heaven. It's, it's full circle for me because my my wrestling uh, wrestling in front of people actually started in a backyard company that me and my buddy started in high school, and uh, we only drew seven hundred and fifty people to our show. Seven hundred and fifty. So yeah, on a Tuesday in a town with a population of seventy five people, so numbers were down. Wait, wait, wait. What was your gimmick name? Eric Young. The Eric Young the back. I heard rumble. I heard of stuff about you back in the day. You guys were tearing it up. Yeah, yeah. FWF Florence Wrestling Federation. Uh, yep. That's where it all started. That's where it all started for me. Uh, so yeah, it's to be a bit of a full circle thing when I sign a very lucrative deal with you guys. Hell yeah! You know the. I mean, put you in guys, a good word. I will put in. A, well, I'm the one that makes the decisions, but I, I'll put in a good word. And um, but you guys spend money to spend money. You know, that's what my dad always said. Yeah, um, smart man. You know, I think, though, that, you know, if I was to bring you into Backyard Wrestling Entertainment, I would, you know, first of all, foremost and foremost, say that Eric Young is probably kind of a wimpy name, so I would probably want to, you know... I you know, some, you know, I probably want to yeah. change it to something more kick-ass, like uh, Eric, uh, the grown-ass man, or uh, ass-kicking okay. Eric, or Eric gonna f*** your ass up, you know, some something like that. Um, all very catchy. That's what I'm saying, you know, but... um. What do I want to do? Make money? You know what I want to do? Make money for us? I don't know. <laughs> right. Skier, I'm thinking about taking some steroids. Oh, well, yeah, it's 11.30, so... Are your balls still shrinking? Eric Young, why yeah. did you stop being a superhero? Uh, I mean, I don't think I ever really stopped. Like, once you become a hero, you're kind of always a hero. Um, I did notice that my strength is different um, when I don't wear the mask and the cape. Mm. Uh, like the last time I had it on, I broke handcuffs. I mm. thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been able to do that since that time. Um, and I've misplaced the mask. I have the shirt still and the long pants and the, the arm gauntlets, but I, I've seemed to misplace the mask. And I think that's where the power resides. I mean, if you've ever read any, any uh, comic books, like that's a lot of times that's what it is. You have to have some kind of a source of power. And I believe it is the mask. And uh, I've lost it. So irresponsible on my part, I but... You know, I can relate completely. When I put on the this bandana and I have this belt over my shoulder, I feel like I I could I feel like I could f a building. You know. Yeah, 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 that's a good, that's a that's a good power to have. Yeah. Yeah. Eric Young, are you still married to ODB? Uh, in on television. Legally, whatever. It's all the same, right? It's all the same. Yeah, uh, television is real. Special reality shows, and especially wrestling. Uh, so yes, in the wrestling world, me and ODB are, are still married and are still mm -hmm. Knockouts Tag Champions. We never lost those belts. So I mean, that's got to be some kind of a record. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fifteen plus years, but you know, it's 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 climbing for sure. It'd be pretty close to fifteen plus years. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, you know, I'm very happy that you're still living in a thriving, happy marriage. You know, um, I've been with my this current girlfriend. Um, she uh, is a she works at Applebee's. You may have met her before, but uh, I, you know, I've been with her for about six, seven months now, and this one's looking pretty good. What's the best advice you could give to me to make sure that I don't fuck up this relationship? Yeah, I mean, well, all women are different. For me, it was just about. Uh having a, a constant in-source supply of beer and fried chicken uh, mm. for ODB. That's like my girlfriend. Well, there you go. I mean, she already works at Applebee's, so it's easy. Hell yeah. They have excellent chicken tenders there. Uh, one of my favorite, when right. I used to eat, I don't eat meat anymore, but, but when I did, I used to do the all-you-can-eat riblets and, uh, until they kicked me out, make me sick to my stomach. <laughs> Delicious. I eat that shit for breakfast. Yeah, riblets for breakfast. An excellent choice. Yeah, hell that's, yeah. That's why you're in such good shape, probably. Thank you, yeah. Eric Young. Thank you. For, God, I almost want to cry because most of the time, I got to be real with you, most of the time these interviews, people start 
insulting me and all I want to do all I want to do is give back to the business you know I'm just trying to rub you I'm just trying to rub you yeah I can feel it good with backyard wrestling rings popping up all over the country this dangerous sport seems to be growing in popularity WWE they fired you why didn't you go Fur on furloughed furloughed is the word that they they furloughed me with no intention to rehire me but furloughed that's the that's the proper term oh god that must be like uh i would say i would say fired and i think most people would say fired but furlough. sure sure furlough is maybe a french translation but yeah maybe that's... it's maybe furloughed is french for yeah that could be it i don't know french so i'm just i just mumble i took it for like 12 years and can't speak it at all so there you go there you go uh, WWE, WWE furloughed you. Yep. Oh, uh, why didn't you go on the internet and cry like a little bitch for your job after like Drake Maverick did? Uh, well, I mean, I have a little bit of a def different technique. Um, worked for him. Uh, he's back there. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't go on the internet at all. I didn't release a statement. I didn't do interviews. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I, I, uh, I sat back and, uh, watched the world unfold and, and, uh, you know, had people contact me and, and uh, contacted some people to figure what uh, what was my next move. And it all worked out great, man. It's like, I have fate tattooed on my arm and mm. the world's got a funny way of working itself out. So you have fat tattooed on your arm? Fat. Yes. Fat with an E. F-A-T-E. Fat. That's an interesting tattoo choice. I've been, I got a tattoo on um on my, my P.E.K.K.A. that says, Mark, E. Extreme. It's a lot of ease. It's a lot of, it's a lot of ease. There's a word case and it's fonts super small. The reason we don't buy loose figures is in case someone else may have put an action figure up there. You don't know where the hell they've been. You ever meet Zack Ryder? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, uh, Matt Carlina. What, why does why does Zack uh, Matt Carlina have so many? And toys um he's a giant child i think thank you if scientifically we were gonna go in and you know really break it down cut him open see what makes him tick inside i think there'd be like uh pieces from the operation game inside yeah, of probably. him um but yeah basically he's a giant child but uh good dude big dude jacked i wouldn't say this to his face but he's a child I'd say it to his goddamn face. You're a man child. That's a hell of a gimmick. Uh, Matt Carlina, the man child. The man child. Where's there a diaper? Go. A diaper, and he's got a little shaker. Holding his fucking toys like a little baby. Yeah, you got him good. <laughs> man, I wish I could fist you right now. <laughs> that sounded weird. This is my one of my favorite segments of the show. It's called Mary Fuck Kill. And this is the Sanity Edition. Eric Young, oh, Lord. Mary F*** Hill, Alexander Wolf, Killian Dane, and Nikki Cross. Uh, well, I'm going to marry Nikki Cross. Sorry, Killian. Uh, one of my favorite human beings on Earth. Jeez. Uh, I, I, I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably f*** Killian. He cares. <laughs> He's passionate. He's large. Yeah. Good boobs. And, uh, good dude. And that leaves me with having to kill Wolf. Um, I don't want to do that, but if I had to, I would. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, he's, uh, he's German, so I don't trust him. They got a long, long, long history of losing wars, and this is another one of him losing. Mm -hmm. Everyone in Germany hates me now. Thanks. Yeah. I'd probably f*** Killian. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're the same. I mean, don't tell him that or nothing. No, I this mean, isn't being this isn't being recorded, right? You can tell me. You can tell him if you want. I probably will. Eric Young, what makes the great Kali so great? Uh, I think that he's tall. Next question. Yep. Eric Young, have you ever met Heath Slater's kids? And was one of them Nicholas, that kid who won the the tag titles with Braun Strowman? Uh, I have not met his kid, and I do not believe that that was his kid. I want to believe that that's true, but I'm pretty sure that was someone else's child. 
Man, if I got if I got into the ring with that goddamn kid, I would punt him. I would punt him all the way across the f-ing ring. I mean, I mean I'd say, say get out of my business. Remember when he won the tag titles because wrestling's real? Yeah. <laughs> let's make it re- let's make it as real as possible. You Hold know what? I don't, rope. Don't, I don't like don't. when somebody makes a joke of this business. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I uh, you know, there's a lot of rules there to protect the integrity of wrestling, and then a child won the belt, so that's cool. Um, I think it's bullshit. Yeah, I, uh, it's an interesting decision, that's for sure. Well, another interesting decision was me to, to go into this next segment of the show. It's called Beyond the Matinee. <laughs> Where I've, um, I've mailed a copy of a movie uh, the, to the, my guest, and uh, the movie that he was supposed to watch and review is Playing with Fire, starring that bitch John Cena. Uh, Eric Young, did what did you think of uh, in, uh, playing with fire starring the dumbass John Cena? Uh, I love everything John Cena does. Here's the list of, of the reasons why. One, super successful guy. Two, ultra handsome. Three, kind, respectful, and hardworking. John Cena's excellent. Um, I well, first of all, it kind of sounds like you're you're describing Marky Extreme, but I think you might have be mistaken on John Cena because John Cena is the biggest goddamn idiot in the wrestling business. And Fair. oh, what I do, what I would do if I just had ten minutes in, in the backyard with John Cena, the things well, once, I do to him. Once he gets his Hollywood career up and running, uh, maybe he'll you know maybe he'll be appealing for you guys to bring on on a big lucrative deal. I know he's been working towards working with you guys. I mean, everybody in the industry is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I get it. it. It's you know, it's it's a it's a it's a, a lot of people have their dream list of accomplishments. You know, wrestling yep. um, the Undertaker, um, yep. working a full program with Kui Wee, yep. um, and then being in the back of wrestling entertainment. You know, that's everyone's list one, two, and three. I mean, it gets a little bit different after that, but those are the top three for almost everybody. I think. I get it. Makes sense. Yep. Eric Young, can I get your Impact Plus login information? Yeah, it's uh, I don't have Impact Plus dot com um, password. You're Hold an on. idiot. Hold on, let me write that. Yeah, write that down. Okay, say that again. Right. It's, it's uh, I don't have Impact Plus. Uh huh. Secretly, I do, but I'm not telling you. Is that part of the S's S is capital? Okay. Yep. That's and a, the password that? is your Y O U apostrophe R E. What's the apostrophe? Yeah, an apostrophe is the. It's like it looks like a little shrimp. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shrimp. Thank you. Yeah, like a little shrimp. Yep. R E capital R because I'm from the streets. An idiot. A N capital I D O T. Cool. Thank thank you so much, man. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Victory Road 2007. Hell of a tag match on there. Hell of a tag match. What I'm stating is I can skip. Are you listening to me? Are you on on Twitter? Are you listening? Can you add me on Facebook? Eric Young, you did a fishing show off the hook, which is is sick. Um, Um... I don't personally eat fish, but um, but you know I was thinking that I and maybe you could pitch this to the people that made your show. But I would I would love to host a show where I fish for cake. You know, um, uh, Eric Young, would you be on my show fishing for cake? Yeah, I mean everyone likes cake, everyone likes fishing. I mean you're really onto something here. That's an exciting show. Thank you. Yeah, I think that you know we could both host it and we could eat cake and yeah. high five each other and make the towns. That does sound fun, doesn't it? Who wouldn't watch that? Right? A girl can dream. <laughs> A girl can dream. <clears throat> um, Eric Young, why aren't you a young buck? Um, well, my last name, last name is Young, and their first name is Young. So there's actually no relation. Um, but I hold uh, several victories over those guys, so... None of this makes sense to me. I mean, the Young Bucks, the Young Bucks, I'm just looking at this scientifically. Yep. Young Bucks are named Jackson. Your name is Young. I mean, I'm extreme, you know, and my last name is extreme. There's no confusion there. I mean, you should legally be a part of the Young Bucks. You think I maybe should send them a cease and desist? 
Hundred percent. I own the name Young. It's you mine. You should it get all the, those goddamn royalties. I'm gonna I'm gonna text them later today. Please do. I Tell will. them. Marky Extreme says, "Suck it!" Right. All right. They'll get that. That's good. <laughs> Got them again. <laughs> um, Eric Young. I, I, you know, I usually can't, I can't stand when wrestlers do other, you know, projects like acting in movies or, you know, write books, but Eric Young, Young stupid. it's dumb. You did something super badass. You were in a band with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Tell me about that. Yeah. Uh, I was, I played drums. Uh, Scott Hall was on stand up bass and big Kev was lead guitar and vocals. Okay. Um, it didn't last very long. It was, uh, it wasn't the same, but it was like I was kind of in the NWO for like four and a half weeks, which was, yeah, yeah, you got it. Just like, you know, you know, all the hand signs. Good. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Thank you. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Where we were banned and very successful for four weeks. Hey, man. Yeah, but for real, like kind of an honor to be chose by those guys. That's that's their choice to have me with them. Mm. Um, the band didn't work out and I don't know how to play the drums very well. Uh, so we were a pretty shitty band. Hey man, it, it doesn't matter how long you're in the bed for it. It just matters the motion in, in the lotion, right? Yeah. Nailed it again. I usually do. Um, Eric Young, do you ever listen to, uh, to coach Scott Amore's kid Enzo's rap music? Uh, yeah, yes. Did you tell that I was lying when I said that? Oh, wait, are you lying or telling the truth? Uh, I haven't heard any of it. Um, sometimes I watch his clips on, on social media because it's, it's hilarious to me, but I have not heard any of uh, his rap music, no. Yeah, I haven't heard it either. Well, tell his dad, Scott Amore, that you know I'm, I'm rooting for his son. I will. I think uh, Scott Amore is disappointed in Enzo. I mean, you know, I've heard, you know. We won't get, get into the dog gossip, but, you know, I, I could understand that, you know. We don't, we don't want to get into the gossip on this show. Hell, well. Nothing but scientific facts. Hey, hard-hitting facts and just real shit, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't titty fart around it. I, I tell the truth, the extreme truth, and nothing but the truth. That's it. Eric Young, you were a one-time world heavyweight champion in TNA. Congratulations, huge accomplishment. I'm a one-time world champion too, but I never uh, lost mine. Yeah. How did how did you lose your world title, and who did you lose it to? Uh, Bobby Lashley, and uh, I can tell you, there's no shame in losing to somebody that can literally eat you alive. So uh, yeah, I lost it to Bobby Lashley. My ankle was uh, severely injured, and he cheated. But he did beat me. Wait a second. Did you have you ever seen Bobby Bangarang eat somebody? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, no, but I did challenge him to a fight on ice, and he declined. So you can everybody that's watching this. I challenged Bobby Lashley to a fist fight on ice, and he said no. On like an ice skating ring? Yeah, my legend is really starting to build because of this show. It's lots of we're getting a lot of facts out there. You know, I'm, I I give back. I love. I, I rub the boys, and they go on and do great things. You yeah, know, you, so. you're rubbing me real good, bud. Have you ever wrestled Sting? Yeah, I've wrestled Sting several times. That's that's badass, man. Yeah, it is pretty cool. He painted my face one time, and I dressed like him, and had a had a flat top. That was fifteen Holy year old. Shit. Fifteen year old me's mind was blown. I get, man. God dang it, I. I'd be hard as hell. I, there was some blood. There was definitely some blood there. <laughs> oh, Don't tell man. Steve. Who's Steve? Never mind. That's beefaroni, not beefaroni. Tell me you didn't just say that. Eric Young, a lot of people say that Impact Wrestling needs to focus on making new stars. Well, I think that's obviously wrong. They need to bring back Vince Russo, don't they? Yeah, I like Vince Russo. Me and him are good buddies. He's got, think... a, lot of, he's got a lot of good ideas. I think so too. I think he's a genius and you know, some of the best years in, in wrestling were made by Vince Russo. That is, that is actual fact. Were you in the aces and eights? Uh, no, I, I wore a mask and Kevin Nash's fringy vest one time and pretended like I was aces and eights and we beat up Sting, but that's as close as I got to actually being in it. 
They drive uh, Honda Gold Wings, and I have a Harley, so I wasn't tough enough to be in that gang. Oh, uh, gotcha. Worst, well, worst, be- worst bike gang ever, by the way. I don't know. You, I think you should have been in them. I thought they were cool as hell. Yeah, yeah, you would think that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now this question may be a sensitive topic, but I'm approaching it with all due respect here. Yep. Like you mentioned, you were a TNA Tag Team Women's Champion. Yes, still, I never never lost that belt. Eric Young, are you transgender? Uh, no, no, I, 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 uh, I like both genders, but I am not transgender. No, trains gender. Trains gender. Like train gender? Hey, I don't I don't make the I don't make the words up. I don't I don't you know, I'm not the one who scientifically labeled it. I'm just asking you, are you trains gender? Um I'm just gonna say no, because I don't have any idea what you're saying. I really hope that was the last question. That was no, no, got, got, <laughs> that was a good that would be a good way to end this. Oh well. Yeah, you're ribbon. I know you're having the best time in the world. Um, okay, go one more. Let's do another one. Okay, well, good thing, because it's just in time for the last segment of the show. It's called Shoot Hard! Shoot Hard. Where I ask my guests to shoot real hard on a list of wrestlers, and this one is the Oh Canada edition, where I'm going to ask my guest, Eric Young, to shoot hard on some of these Canadian wrestlers. So, Eric Young, shoot! Eric Young, shoot hard on Petey Williams! Uh, cute as a bug, uh, not very tall, uh, excellent thing. Eric Young shooting is not calling somebody cute. Eric Young shoot hard on Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, gorgeous, kind, uh. That's not shooting, that's not shooting. Eric Young, Eric Young rip and shoot hard on Lance Storm. Uh. Funnier than you think. Uh, Not shooting! Eric Young shooting is ripping someone's f***ing apart! Eric Young, shoot hard on Johnny Devine! Uh, good friend, tag team partner, and... Oh, for f***'s sake, Eric Young! Eric Young, Young shoot hard! Shoot hard on Kenny Omega! Uh... Don't know Kenny Omega real well. Ultra, ultra talented guy, and I hope that we can. Uh, <laughs> Eric Young, Eric Young, shoot hard on Angelina Love. Angelina Love is a very talented performer, a uh, longtime friend Eric of mine. Young, Eric Young, shooting is yelling and talking smack and saying the words like the fact of the matter is. Eric Young, Eric Young, shoot hard, shoot. Hard on Chelsea Green. Uh, the fact of the matter is that she hasn't been wrestling very long, but she's very, very talented, and sky's the limit for Chelsea Green. The start of that was kind of a rip, and I'll take it, Eric Young. Eric Young, shoot hard on Brett the Hitman f- Hart. Brett the Hitman Hart is a legend and one of the greatest oh. storytellers this business has ever seen. Eric Young, you've got one last chance to rip somebody and shoot hard on their Eric Young, Eric Young, Eric Young, shoot hard on Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is maybe the top five most talented in-ring performers that this or any generation has seen. Uh, I didn't like his long hair. I was stupid. How did I do? Especially when it get dry and it'd be really frizzy and he looked like he was from the Isle of Samoa. Hold on, I gotta take a breath. I'm about to pass out. Good one. Shoot hard. But Eric Young, you know, I don't want to step on any toes, but if you want to step up your promo skills, come to Backyard Wrestling Academy. You know, promos are about... There's a school, too. All good. I teach... Yeah, I'm a teacher. I I have a school, so... You're a teacher. Good. Yeah, you know, I do... I I teach the the fundamentals and the basics. Day one is chair shots and, you know... Right. um, Just roll up from there. It's the most important thing, you know, in the yeah. business. Um, and then Thursdays we have promo class. So if you want to come step up your shooting skills, um, we'd love to have you. I'll probably be busy, but um, if a Thursday opens up, you never know, I could show up. Well, I got your number, so I'll call you. Yeah, you have my number now. That's good. 
Yeah, I won't say how I got it. <laughs> um, but uh, Josh Matthews may have stole his phone from him. Um, I know, I knew I couldn't trust that guy. Yeah, he's a b I don't know if you know Josh Matthews uh, that well, but I think he made his wife in his basement. He made his wife, even though she existed before he worked, you you believe scientifically that he made his wife in I never saw her before that. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just saying somebody that hot would not be with a nerd like him. That's, I mean, that is a fair assessment. That is a fair, she, uh, she is a very attractive young woman. Amen, sister. Eric Young, it has been a pleasure, you know, to rub you and have you on the show today. And um, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart that um, for being here. And, and um, would you like to promote anything before we wrap up here today? Well, I'd like to promote backyard wrestling because that's where you know where all the greats end up. And me being a, a legend, an absolute legend in the wrestling industry, is that's that's where I will end up eventually once I hone my craft and pay my dues. Uh, you know, I've only got. Uh, 17 plus years of television experience, my own television show, multiple world titles, uh, best friends with Kevin Nash. Um, that's, you know, I don't have a lot to offer at this point, but once I get better at this, then I'm hoping you guys will take a serious look. But for now, I'll be wrestling over at Impact, uh, breaking necks, taking names, and uh, taking my crown as champion as soon as possible. Yeah, well, when you get that, when you get done paying those dues over at Impact, give us a call. We'd we'd love to have you at Backyard Wrestling Entertainment. I will. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of On Your Mark. Make sure you hit a big old Eric uh, Young elbow drop um, to that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Tell us what you thought about this interview, and uh, we'll see you next time. Raven Lady, shoot hard, shoot hard on the red rooster. Are you having an epileptic seizure? Raven Lady! Raven Lady! Raven Lady! Shoot! <laughs>